Hi folks, let's solve a Lee-Code median of two sorted arrays today. It's actually a, a pretty hard problem. So the problem is given two sorted arrays num e and num2, return the median of the two sorted arrays. So here's some example. For example, if num is one two, num2 is three two, then the median is two plus three and divide two, which is 2.5. Okay. Here I give an example. Num one is uh, has six elements. Num two has three elements. We know the median is the fifth element. One, two, three, five, eight. So the median is eight. Um, so how do we get it? We know uh, we have nine elements here. So the median is fifth element. Assuming if we have a function called find the case element, then we can pass five to this function. If we have five find case element, then we can implement lab axis. If the, if the total size is an odd number, then we just pass n plus n divided by two plus one to this function. Otherwise we need to uh, get uh, n plus n divided by two and the next element and uh, returns the average of these two elements since it's the definition of median. Okay, so now the problem becomes how do we implement find case element function? Okay, this is definition. We pass k, this is the case element we want to find. We pass nums one and nums two and the index one and the index two. Index and one and the index two, it's like pointer which means the previous element of this uh, nums are discarded, are useless. We only focus on elements starting from index one. And the re remaining meaningful length is num one size minus index one and num two size minus index two. So this trick is very useful. Um, for example, I always like to put the smaller uh, array in first. So if L1 is greater, I will swap nums one and nums two. So it becomes this. So for this example, K is five, since we have nine element, the median is fifth element and index one is zero, index two is zero. Okay, let's implement. In this example, L1 is three, L2 is six. And uh, this is a, a condition to like return. If num1 is empty, we know we can just return immediately since num1 is empty. If k is one, it's also very easy. We just re and compare the first element of num1 and num2, then return the smaller one. Okay, now we need to do binary search. We always try to reduce k to uh, k divided by two. So uh, we want to like discard the first several, several elements in nums one or first several elements in nums two so that we can make k smaller. But sometimes k is uh, like k can be 100 but L1 may be just five or 10. So L1 is very small. The so index is out of range. So we need to pick the smaller between k divided by two and L1. So this is what I call cut one. In this example, cut one is two and cut two is three. So we can compare the second element in nums one and third element in nums two. And we find nums one is, the second element in nums one is smaller, which means this element is smaller than all the elements after it. And this element is also smaller than the element of this 15 and all the elements after 15. So the red blockers are all greater than this element. We know K is five, we want to find the fifth element. Then two, two cannot be the fifth element. Since there are at most four elements here, K, two, two, at most is the first element. It cannot be the fifth element. Okay, which means we can discard all the elements before two and itself. So we can discard it. 
then we can recursive call find case element. Now k becomes three since we discard two elements. So it's five minus two becomes three. And number one, since we discarded the gray elements here, so index one becomes two. Okay, now this is a new statement of my new function call. Okay, let's do the same. L1 is one, L2 is six, and cut two is one. Cut two, or cut one is one, cut two is two. So we're comparing five with A. And five is smaller. So we need to discard cut one. Five is smaller than all these red numbers. So five can not be the third element. Five at most, can be the second element. Okay, now we return find case element. Since we discard um, cut one, so k becomes two, and the so in index of numbers one becomes three. Okay, so now index is three and k is two. This is a new state. Okay, now L1 is zero, which means we can return immediately here. We just return numbers two in one. So the final answer is eight. Okay, this is a whole implementation. In the main function, uh, depends on it's even on or odd. Like we will call this one or this one. And in the final case element, we have two um, termination conditions. If L1 is zero, we just return times two case element. If k is one, we just return the minimum one, minimum one between numbers one index and numbers two, index two. And here we do the binary search. We have cut one and cut two. So we can always discard cut one or discard cut two to make k smaller. So k will become k minus cut two or k minus cut one. K will become smaller and small, smaller. So let's say what's time complexity? We know the termination condition so we stop when L1 is zero or one k is, is one. If L1 is greater or equal than k divided by two, we know we discard k divided by two elements since k1 is two, k divided by two. So k minus k2 is same as k minus k1. So new k is k divided by two. If L1 is, is smaller than k divided by two, we know in this con condition, the so element in numbers one is smaller. So we discard the, all the elements in L1. Then game over, L1 is zero. We can remit, Im, return immediate. Otherwise, we discard K minus L1 element. Then we know new K is K minus K2. K minus K2 is K1. And we know K1 is L1 in, in this case. L1 we know is smaller than k divided by two. So new k is smaller than k divided by two, which means the new k, it can be k divided by two. It can also be smaller than k divided by two. So the time complexity is a little bit better than O log k, but it's, uh, we can also say it's O log k. Since the new k is always less or same as k divided by two. k we know is, is n plus n divided by two. So time complexity in general is O log n plus n. So it's a very good uh, question. And the biggest trick here is, um, I think is how we pick k1 and k2. Then we can um, make k like uh, becomes smaller and smaller, and finally k will become one. And in some, like if we are lucky, L1 can also be like zero much more quick, quickly. If if the size of L1 is very small, yeah, it will become zero maybe quickly if the um, cases are good. Okay, that's it. It's a good problem. If you have time, you can spend more time.
like you can practice more.